Welcome back, everybody, to the Orthodox Warrior. And I am reflecting now on the name that I chose for this channel. How perhaps unworthy I can be at, so at times to claim it. But by God's grace, I do use it and I hope and it is my prayer that I put out good content that sparks that change in those around me. Even if it is just video game footage and commentary, as you will, if you do some looking, will find all over YouTube. I want to be different from the others, and not just because I want to stand out to be noticed, but it is not my glory I am looking for, but always the Lord's. And that's why I talk about topics when I'm inspired to, I guess, give a message. Again, even if I'm unworthy, I really feel that it is God's will for each message to be given. And I don't claim deep knowledge of the, the following topic or anything. It's just my experience this time around. But I just wanted to make that clear that that is my goal with both my channels. Anytime I upload a video, there is a purpose and it doesn't have to be so in your face, but that's what it is. There's a purpose. So moving on from that, today I've just kind of wasted time for the millionth time and I just don't know what to do about it you know i've had good days where i don't procrastinate i don't use up all my time with <laughs> today the political things i watched the most recent democratic debate and then i watched some youtube videos about the current sort of uh, political scene what people are saying about trump and Cruz and who knows what and all the doom and gloom of people thinking that if we don't elect a good person, and a lot of people seem to think that the good candidates are the Democrats, that we will face the extinction of humanity. I actually read a comment that said that. And I'll be honest, I don't care about those comments. I don't take them that seriously, but it is a little concerning the current situation but ultimately I come back to Christ and everything makes more sense like I said a little earlier I'm not an expert on any of this any of the following or anything I say it's just my experience but I have found and I really do know I know this I believe it I feel it but I know it ultimately that Christ is the only way. Period. Period. And I'm young. I get it. And there are people that search and search and search. So they claim. As far as I can tell, they're honest in their searching, their, their yearnings, if you will. To find that true life and they may never find it that is not of my concern ultimately what is my concern is Christ now you may be thinking about this and perhaps you've searched yourself for maybe years on end and you haven't ever felt comfortable or decided on any one we can call it religion or set of beliefs or whatever whatever you want to call it and that is okay however it's not good you see I've come to the realization as of the most recent weeks and months probably weeks that we do not have time let that sink in for a moment 
we do not have time. As the aforementioned comment about the end of humanity, while that was a little dramatic in light of a political election, it does have truth to it. You may be thinking, wow, you're playing Age of Empires and talking about this. But truly, when I look at Age of Empires, for example, it causes me to reflect on history. And it causes me to think about the strategies that I would employ to defeat the enemy. Or enemies, even. It's a video game. It's a computer game. It's a real-time strategy game that just... The premise is you build and you kill and you win, generally speaking. That's how this world is throughout history. In fact, this game is very simplified, but still nice representation of reality throughout the ages. What do we as humans do? Well, we search for the things we need or want. For example, food. We need. And then we build these elaborate buildings and armies so that we can get more resources and conquer others. It's sad, but in light of Christ, everything makes sense. So for example, the belief of the fall of man. Most religions have something similar to this. Now, I'm not an expert. I have knowledge, a lot of general knowledge about all the world, faiths, religions, even cults, but really there's some in each of these religions, something like creation story that explains why humans well, for one, it explains how we got here, but then it also explains why we are the way we are. And generally speaking, it seems to be that there is some sort of change in human nature or event that takes place that sort of leads on to now. In Christianity and Judaism, it was the fall of man. And in Islam, I think it's the same. So, my computer, I'm gonna sleep. Seems good. And that is the thing, the only explanation that makes true sense to myself and to billions of people because the story goes that we were created by God in his image and for whatever reason we do not live up to that image and thus here we are in our broken, broken world. And I think politics is a nice example of that brokenness. And election years are the worst. We waste time. We incessantly argue. And it's how it is. It's been going on forever. So, as a young adult, entering this world in a more prominent way, maybe through voting, college, whatever the case may be, it's a good idea to ask simple questions such as, 
What does it all mean? And note, I said simple questions. I didn't say simple answers. You know, why am I here? What does it mean and why am I here? I do not have easy, easily accessible answers right there for you to grab. And that's what people want. And when they don't get it, just like in anything, they lose their minds. And they turn to alternatives that are mediocre, especially in the religious scene, if you will. They don't want to utilize the best of really the time they have, and so they go the lazy way. I've seen that quite a bit, and for the sake of brevity, I will not go into that in detail. But I am worried about that one thing, and that's Christ. Again, there's no other point to be made large enough that would alter my ultimate focus away from Christ. Nothing. Politics? Forget it. Many people make politics their religion, just like science. Science and politics are simply what they are. They're processes. Scientific method is a set out step by step logical progression and politics is in a few ways similar you have your parties and they go their set ways they won't just fundamentally change in an instant and so people gravitate towards that whereas really if they want that peace that really surpasses all understanding they do very well to take a step back and look again people do this they search but they still for some reason do not either want to become devoted be bound to the oak of christ or they just do not want to change their lifestyles this is a major problem especially the lifestyles. Maybe they do want to be a Christian. And note this, I'm using the term Christian here in the general sense. Maybe they do want to be Christian, and yet they still say things like, I support marijuana use or divorce or same-sex marriage because, heck, abortion, because it's not my life. It's not, why should I be able to tell other people that's not the way you should do things. Maybe it's not my job to correct people, because that's judging. Christ does not want, and you can see by the scriptures this, Christ does not want us to be lukewarm, to be disengaged with the fallen creation around us. He wants us to correct things. He wants us to go out and evangelize. He wants us to change the world for his glory, for his betterment, for the betterment of his world, for the alleviation of suffering, for the expansion of the kingdom, ultimately. So, with all that said, we must be aware of what's happening, and we must be ready and willing to say, ask ourselves, am I on the right path? I've heard many sermons I've seen the television shows from pastors and televangelists. I've heard the radio talk shows, the, the lectures. I've heard it all. There are good stuff to be said. And there have been, well, very good things said. But at this moment, we need to ask, and every day we need to examine, are we on the right path. Because we do not have time. 